Hello and welcome to a workshop update. Uh, as you can see I've collected some more list of shearing gear. Um, these are the two clutches I had before but uh, I went to a sale and uh, I got this clutch here which is a double pulley clutch. I'm thinking that one of them bolts onto there driven straight from the engine and then the other pulley drives the other shearing clutch. Um, so that's how I'm going to set it off. I got the bracket and that for the trolley so I'm going to make up a Lister trolley and an uh, easier bolt on top of the front of the hopper top um, that's where you hang your cutters to and that's a friction drive that goes on the flywheel fling this over and you can see it sort of pops out pushes against the flywheel and uh, yeah you put your shearing stuff on there there's a greaser on there that you can grease a shaft so yeah, I've nearly got everything I need to make the shearing set now. Just got to make a trolley and get the drives and cutting edge. Um, this is what else I bought. This is a, a Marshall ring generator with Villiers F15 on it. Not quite sure the age. When I had it, it had no condenser in it. Um, so it wouldn't spark. It's a bit of grinding sound. There's a cowling strip both bolts underneath so it's quite loose. Um, fuel pipe was perished here so I put electric electrical piece on tap was blocked up it would uh, let a little bit of fuel through but not enough to make it run for very long had no air filter on assembly at all so that there is what I put on so it runs very well there's another video I'll put up afterwards of it running but uh, i got another carnival coming up and I'm going to use it on that I think it runs the uh, angle grinder quite well but I'm thinking it's probably 1 to 1.5 1 kVA this one Little Villiers one in there is um, right there. Is one kVA, but he's a lot older. This one's from the 70s somewhere. I'm not quite sure how to date these F15s. Now I've changed the oil on this. It's the oil come out a bit uh, slot. It's thickened up now, but I run it for a half hour beforehand. But it's got some nice Castro in it now, so that's all right. Not a lot else gone on in here because uh, I haven't got no power at the moment to the shed because. Uh, well, we put in some new trips indoors and the uh, outside power seems to blow them off. Uh, in here is quite a mess. Walsley block there. Um, drop the tappets out, which are there. But you have to undo these two bunks to drop the tappets out. So, yeah. There's not a lot going on with the Walsley the last few weeks. But I've been doing a bit of painting and that. Got a new strimmer there. It's a Lawn Flight XLT 250. Um, it's not new. I swapped it with for Suffolk Simon with some for some oil. He said it wasn't running, but I put some fuel in it um, and it started right up. So I went strimming there. That's proper. Um, yeah, not a lot else I can say for this update. But there will be some more Walsley videos coming soon. Just making slow progress on it, but uh, yeah, over the winter I hope to build a shearing setup, probably with my 1957 listed D. Give it something to do. It looked quite nice, I think. I'm not going to paint this, I don't think. Just oil it up because it will go with the uh, old restoration of my other list of D there. But maybe one of those clutches will need painting, I don't know yet. But yeah, you can see this flower pot I made. It's a list of D cylinder head that I got given from Crank Up Chris. He gave me two of these. I knocked the valve guides out of it and uh, planted some flowers in it. <laughs> it looks quite good. Waste oiled it so it didn't rust too much. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this little video and thanks for watching.